With more than 3.3 million travellers in 2012, Lao PDR is experiencing a significant increase in tourist arrivals. Out of the many destinations, the town of Luang Prabang, a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, has become a special attraction for visitors from all over the world. However, this fast growth also poses potential risks for visitors and the local environment and its inhabitants. Here, the responsible use of resources as well as the safety of consumers is important. As tourism grows more in a global sense, there is a demand need uh, to also match that increase with um, compliance, safety compliance, to increase tourist safety. And by tourist safety, um, in this context, we're really talking about food safety and tourist health and safety. To help Lao PDR face this challenge, a safe and green tourism scheme was developed and implemented in partnership with the Lao National Institute for Tourism and Hospitality, LANIT, the Lao Ministry of Industry and Commerce, as well as the Lao Provincial Industry and Commerce Office. Technical support is offered by UNIDO, UNCTAD, ITC, ILO and UNOPS. The project is funded by the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs, SECO. To establish the safety compliance scheme and systems, we put together a, initially a generic system. And once created that model, we had a model that could be um, used in many countries and many conditions. We initially um, customised the model to be used in Sri Lanka. Latterly, we've now used that model in Lang Prabang, in Laos, and we can go on to then use that model in a customised manner for almost any situation globally. The activities aimed at furthering the model in Lao PDR include the development of a scheme manual with specific requirements on environmental, occupational health and food safety matters, the development of a quality label for green and sustainable safe tourism to reward hotels and restaurants for complying with the scheme manual requirements. The training of local experts as internationally registered auditors to assess the conformity to the scheme's requirements. The strengthening of the local microbiology testing capacity and training laboratory experts as well as providing mentoring training for hotels and restaurants to improve their compliance with food safety standards. We need to develop, develop the people first, first of all. So I guess the staff in the hotels, in the restaurants, they, they, they have to get to know. I don't talk about the management. The management, they, they already, I know they already know it better, maybe better than me or others. But the, the staff, who doing the real things, who who working on, on the reality, need to be trained and get experience. The main assistance for us is uh, the, that we are showing the staff that there are possibilities of helping them, helping the people and learning new things, learning how to deal with uh, wastage, how to, uh, how to keep uh, health and safety inside the kitchen. Yes, the project has improved a lot actually in, in our restaurant. So we, we have some new, can I say, gadget and some, some other tools that they are not gadgets. So I can send my staff to, to UNIDO and so they can learn also from there and talking together after they improve, for sure. That help us to clean and make a, a proper kitchen, like high level standard. คนดีที่ว่าอันได้รับจากการไปฝึกอบรมหอมหั่นมีหลายอย่างอันน่ะเรื่องการใส่อุปกรณ์ได้แล้วก็เรื่องความปลอดภัยของอาหารแล้วก
The results achieved by the project so far are significant. A number of local experts have been trained as trainers and auditors through the Chartered Institute for Environmental Health, CIEH UK. The Super Wong University in Luang Prabang was assisted in building its microbiology testing capacity and laboratory experts were trained to test food samples. Due to a high non-conformity rate in the first round of hotel audits, customised training was provided depending on each hotel's individual needs. The hotel showed a high learning curve and could improve their standards considerably. Lao PDR is on its way to developing a healthy and flourishing tourism sector. The success of the model shows that it can be reproduced using international best practices and adapting to local needs. The project is in line with UNIDO's mission to reduce poverty through inclusive and sustainable industrial development where countries are given help to expand their productive sector, increase their participation in international trade and safeguard their environment.